NASA has discovered a new super Earth that defies all logic. Humankind has always looked for a brand new habitat on a habitable planet. Astronomers have found some strange worlds where existence is hard. Some planets are warmer than the Sun, whereas others are bigger. The J1407b is a strange planet, 434 light years away from Earth. Researchers tried to measure the planet's mass, it's 1040 Jupiter's mass though. J1407b is a huge planet, significantly bigger than Jupiter. A huge ring system stunned scientists. It is 30 rings, each 10 million kilometers across. The ring system's diameter is 120 million kilometers. These rings are 200 times bigger than Saturn's rings. If Saturn's rings were this enormous, they'd rule the sky. This incredible view would not really hang around long. As satellites formed around the globe, the rings thinned. Then what? What's the most exciting planet? The cosmos has many more strange places. How could one planet be warmer than the sun and bigger than its star? And what is a marshmallow planet and planets? We've listed the most amazing universes, so let's get into that. WASP-76b is a hot exoplanet 640 light years distant. The world is recognized for more though, the constant dark side, molten showers. The planet always confronts its sun because it's tightly locked. Dayside temperatures exceed 2,350 degrees Celsius. It is sufficient to vaporize metals like iron. Dayside radiation is several thousand times higher than solar radiation. WASP-76b's dark side is almost double icy. This exoplanet's difference in temperature causes tremendous winds. The winds carries iron mist from the hottest area of the world to the coldest. As vapor loses heat, molten iron rains. The planet PSR J1719-1438b is stranger. What's so unique? It's 3,000 times bigger than its neutron star host. It was once a star, not a planet. The exoplanet circles a 20-kilometer diameter neutron star. One teaspoonful of this star's stuff would weigh billions of tons. The millisecond pulsar emits radiation every 5.4 milliseconds. That's 10,000 times per minute. PSR J1719-1438b, a planet 40% of the mass of Jupiter, orbits the star. This planet is bigger than Jupiter. Why is it so tiny but so big? A neighboring pulsar forcibly removed the exoplanet's outer surface. This left a carbon star residue that produced a five times larger diamond content. It's currently 60,000 kilometers across. Due to the exoplanet's closeness to the pulsar, the overall structure may fit inside the sun's diameter. WASP-107b Some exoplanets have such odd features and it's difficult to imagine they exist. WASP-107b's cotton candy abundance helps scientists rethink how gas giants emerge. The exoplanet is Jupiter-sized, yet barely 30 Earth masses. Jupiter is 300 times bigger than Earth. WASP-107b's center is only fourfold larger than Earth's, whereas it should be 10 times larger. This gives WASP-107b a low density. It's similar to a drifting marshmallow. Neither of these planets look colonizable, unlike Lee's 581b. GJ-504b One of these is an extrasolar planet 57 light years away from Earth. Its designation is GJ-504b, and it is four times more massive but roughly the same size as Jupiter. The biggest surprise about it is that it is pinkish, an uncommon hue for a planet. How did it acquire its color scheme? The estimated age of the system is approximately 160 million years, making it an infant compared to our planetary system. And due to its age, the exoplanet is still evolving and releasing the heat of its birth, giving it a muted magenta light. However, our universe is not only comprised of dazzling hues, there are also numerous water-rich planets. A Neptune-like exoplanet or water world has 8 Earth's mass and 0.24 Jupiter's radius. Despite its oceans, this strange world still has no earthly sister. It has no hard surfaces and a different atmosphere than Earth. Due to a significant temperature and pressure, it comprises water in a peculiar plasma form. With temperatures reaching 280 degrees Celsius, water on GJ1214b is a continuous saturated liquid. It possesses some liquid and gas qualities, but it is non generally. PDS70C Let's return to the solar system. The largest planet has 79 moons. Exoplanets must have exomoons. Researchers have not yet found anything at all for years. Now, finding small spacecraft circling exoplanets is difficult. 
Researchers found conclusive proof of a moon-forming disk orbiting PDS 70C, a faraway exoplanet. Alma Telescope in Chile identified a disk where satellites might develop. Its components can build three moons of Earth size. First time in astrophysics, humans could observe how tiny spherical worlds originate in the universe, not in a simulated world. Kepler 70b Now, Kepler 70b is a 650 light year away burning planet. This exoplanet has a mass of 0.44 Earths and a radius of 0.75 times Earth. Kepler 70 was a Sun like main sequence star, whereas Kepler 70b was only a Jupiter sized giant planet. 18.5 million years ago, the star was a red giant. After spending lots of time within its present star, just the planet's heat iron core remained. The planet is still draining, which could reduce its size. Is it warm? Kepler 70b is 65% nearer to its sun than Mercury is from the sun, thus it is 6,650 degrees Celsius. The sun's surface is 5,500 degrees Celsius, therefore it's awful. Gliese 581b Discovering a planet that could support life is a challenging task, and the fact that the majority of them are far away makes it even worse. This is the reason Gliese 581b appears so appealing. It is only about 20 light years away from Earth and has approximately six times as much mass as Earth. The exoplanet is in its star's habitable zone, which means that the surface temps on its surface might be appropriate for liquid water. Since it is tidally locked, Gliese 581b still has one side that is hot compared to the other. And it's not as terrible as it seems, because there is a lot of carbon dioxide in the planet's atmosphere. This would keep the night side from getting too cold. Even though the Earth has a usual day-night loop and most living things have adapted to living in it, it's unlikely that the same thing will ever occur on Gliese 581b if we eventually settle there. And even though when we do, the ideal place to live might be in the area where day and night meet, which is also known as the Twilight Zone. Tumas J2126 It's hard to imagine how ample space is, and Tumas J2126 is a perfect example of this. People used to think this bizarre place was a free-floating or solitary planet. However, this celestial body isn't that alone. It turns out that two mass J2126 and TYC 9486-927-1 move through space at the same time. Strangely, astronomers have understood both of these things for a long time, but no one ever saw their connection. But then, researchers discovered that the exoplanet and the star are about 104 light years from the Sun. This means they are linked. Later, measurements revealed that the planet is a trillion kilometers away from its star as it goes around it. This is about 7,000 times as far as it is from Earth to the Sun. Up to this point, no other planet is known to have a larger orbital radius. Because its orbit is so big, a year spent on this exoplanet is about the same as 9,000 Earth years. KY-5AB This one is really versatile and not its attributes but its system. The planet, half the size of Saturn, was overlooked since it was complex and science fiction. The KOI-5 system received attention from researchers a couple of years later. The researchers found a triple star system. Planet orbits star A, which has a near partner star B. Every 30 years, they orbit one another. Star C is also gravitationally bound, and it circles A and B every 400 years. Imagine we may visit this exoplanet hover at its atmosphere's edge. In that situation, we'd witness cool stuff. The bottom view would just be dark brown and gray clouds. Rather than one sun, you'd observe two. The paler star would continue to be more luminous than the full moon on Earth. Even bizarre worlds may exist in our galaxy. Planets are imaginary. Some experts theorize they exist. If true, fascinating worlds could develop from black holes, gas, and dust interactions. These worlds would develop far from supermassive black holes, resulting in million-year rotations. The cosmos has no geographical or creative limits. Astronomers occasionally uncover mind-boggling cosmic entities that expand our worldview. It took decades to uncover all of our solar system's planets and their features that constantly surprise us. Who knows what else we'll learn about the 5,000 known exoplanets. Thanks for sticking around till the end of the video. See you in the next one.